Hi Pisces, welcome to your end of February general forecast. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. First of all, Pisces, I'd like to apologize for all, all the late uh, readings being late. I was very sick last week, started last weekend. Today is the 9th and last weekend I started becoming very sick and I went to the doctor, ended up with the flu. So I was laid up all week. I couldn't even make it to my uh, regular full-time job. So I'm feeling good enough today to do some readings. So I'm hoping I don't cough too much. I still have a little bit of a cough I can't seem to get rid of. So if I do cough during this reading, I'm sorry. It's something I can't help. But I really do want to get these uh, end of February um, readings out for you guys. So please bear with me here. Hopefully we'll make it short, sweet, direct to the point. So let's see what's going on with Pisces. So Pisces, we're just going to take whatever comes out here. Um, it could be love, could be general. Um whatever comes out this is the general forecast for the end of february so i hope everybody's doing well welcome everyone so let's see what's going on with pisces for the end of february so this is a zodiac oracle so we get a sign element or planet um, if you don't resonate with whatever comes out here that is totally fine like i say with every reading only take what resonates throw away the rest if it's not making sense to you then please don't try to make it fit it's probably not your reading so um just be aware of that. And it could be past, present, or future energies. Somebody uh, could be going through something around you that could indirectly kind of be affecting you or directly affecting you in some way. And I could pick up on that energy. So let's get one card for Pisces. Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Let's take that one. And what do we have here? Oh, we have Capricorn. So some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn some way, sh uh, shape, or form around you. Um, maybe you have Capricorn in your chart, or maybe they have it in their chart. We'll see how that plays out. So let's get an opening message for you. All the decks are listed below if you're interested in what decks I'm using, social media links, um, how to reach out for personal reading, um, how to tip, donate, send a gift. All that information is below. All right, let's see what's going on with Pisces. Let's get an opening message. Or Pisces at this time. I do say at this time because I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go back and watch uh, previous readings, links to your playlist for general and love are listed below in the description box. And I'll also pin some of that information I just talked about in the top comments of the comment section. So we have platypus here. We have woman's wisdom. So you may be getting advice from the women around you, friends, family, co-workers. Uh, we have 24 there, which is six. Six is a very healing, balancing number. So, you know, there may be uh, something you're going through right now and you feel like you need balance, you need other people's input, wisdom, advice, or something like that. So I just want to read um, 24. I just want to read like a little snippet from the book here. So it says here... Um, you are being prepared to realize, understand, and embrace the potency of your own intuition and higher levels of knowing. So, you are being urged to trust your own judgment, direction, and endurance. This is the wisdom of all women. The ability to trust in their intuition and to consciously act with purpose. Women are natural dreamers, visionaries, and mystics. But they must embrace their masculine aspects in order to realize the full potential of these gifts. So, in... You know, we all have masculine and feminine energy, so that six there, I think, is just representing maybe there's a need for you to balance out all your energies at this time. And, and again, you know, maybe seeking um, advice and guidance from those around you. All right, so about something here. So let's get what kind of energy that you're in right now, Pisces. So we have opportunity. So we have possum here which is 41, which is about change. So there may be some sort of opportunity coming into you that could be a big change in your life right now. It could be a work opportunity. It could be, um, you know, work, career, something financial. It could be uh, just a dream project, something here, some sort of opportunity, I feel. I mean, it could be love. It could be anything coming into you that I feel with the four or five change could um, lead you to something for a big change in your life. Maybe that's what you're needing advice on, getting on other people's input, wisdom, advice about this change and this opportunity. And then on the bottom here, we have 26, willpower, fairy, penguin. 
So 26 is about, is eight, is all about communication, action, make, taking movement, travel. So is, this is saying, do you have the willpower, endurance, determination um, to move forward in this opportunity? That's what I'm feeling. All right, so let's get some clarity with the tarot. Thank you to everybody who supported the channel, all my new subscribers. As you've seen, we just hit 10,000 um, subscribers, I think a little over a week ago. So I am planning to do um, some sort of giveaway where you can win a deck and a free reading from me. Not sure when. I want to record a video on that, but since I've been sick the past week, um, <coughs> sorry, not sure when I'll get to do that. So I do have personal readings booked also that I need to do this week. So hopefully sometime by the end of the month, I'll be posting um, a deck giveaway in a reading together. And the deck that you win, I will perform your reading um, with that deck also. All right, so let's get some. And also uh, those who have subscribed, thank you. Uh, those who have tipped, donated, sent a gift, and reached out for personal reading, thank you, everybody. So let's see why this opportunity is here for Pisces at this time. So we have the Nine of Pentacles. So it definitely could be career-oriented here, the Nine of Pentacles energy. Wow, and the Eight of Pentacles. So... The Nine of Pentacles to me is always a very single energy. You're abundant. You can take care of yourself. Um, you have everything you need. And the Eight of Pentacles is also putting in that dedicated effort and the hard work into something. So I think there is something here. Uh, it could be career or something with money where something's coming into you and it's a big opportunity. But you're, I think you're a little unsure about taking this. But I do see there'll be more growth and abundance, something that you can uh, master, craft, work hard at, and it'll lead to even more abundance in your life. All right, so let's get more energy here. Yeah, the Ace of Cups, so something that's going to be totally aligned with you, um, that you're just going to love doing. Uh, you're going to feel at peace, harmony, joy, happiness, fulfillment in every way with this. That's usually a brand new beginning of love, but I mean, it doesn't have to be. Um, it could just be finally um, having like that a spiritual awakening and just finding something that's totally aligned with you. As you see, this fairy is kind of like holding the candle. Like you kind of found your flame, your passion project, and you're just loving, loving it. Yeah, it brings you to the Ten of Pentacles, total abundance, wealth. Oppor this opportunity is going to bring you in a lot of wealth and abundance, prosperity, Happiness and joy, fulfillment, emotional fulfillment in every single way. Wow. So I don't know why some of you may be unsure about this. Maybe you, you're having doubts that maybe you can't do it with this willpower here. That's like needing, you know, having that determine, determination, crane, uh, strength and courage to uh, follow through. The Three of Swords energy. This is heartbreaking energy. Pain. All right, let's get one more. But then you have wishes and dreams coming true with the Nine of Cups. Again, with the total happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way. But you're feeling heartbreak and sorrow for some reason. So it could be about, you know, maybe leaving, you know, whatever situation you're in now. Uh, maybe some of you are moving also. Or relocating but whatever opportunity this is it's your wish come true but for some reason you're gonna you will feel a little bit of heartbreak pain either probably from leaving the situation you're in now all right so let's see I mean for some of you I mean the three swords can represent a third party situation though I'm not really getting that I mean, the Ten of Pentacles is usually a marriage card. And then you have something new. So some of you could be leaving a marriage, going off the solo of the Nine of Pentacles, and just following your like life mission purpose now, just flying solo, as with this Ace of Cups. But you're having your wish come true here. So how will this resonate for you? So let's get your actual situation. Death. So something ending here, transforming. The Death card. 
something coming full circle. Queen of Wands, so being very fiery, passionate kind of energy. There's that willpower, determination, strength, bravery, coverage, uh, courage, sorry, to allow something to end here so you can move on and transform from that. <coughs> so let's see, let's get a few more here. Emperor. Maybe you're going to be taking on like a new, it's right in the middle of your spread, Emperor, Empress, doesn't matter, male, female, watching this. You could be taking on a more um, high-ranking role. Maybe you're getting a promotion. Um, maybe you're a little nervous about, about ending, you know, something you've done all your life. You've done one thing maybe all your life. And now you're a little afraid to tr end and transform out of that to something of more... Um, power, higher ranking, I don't want to say power, but something more um, fulfilling, something where you feel like you'll be doing more, you'll have more purpose than what you're doing now, but you're a little afraid of that. Hierophant, so yeah, so this is having faith and trust, doing what's moral, just and right, being dedicated and committed to this journey. That is also could be a marriage card, some of you could be married here. Um, maybe this person's really supporting you in this change. Nine of Swords. Yeah, you're stressed, worried, anxious about this new journey. Um, that's why you're feeling unsure. Like, do I have the strength and willpower to do this? And really, really um, seeking out the advice of those around you with the woman's wisdom. I mean, the Capricorn there does represent the devil, so that could be the devil energy within you, just really doubting yourself, fearing this is with the Nine of Swords, thinking maybe you can't do it. Maybe, you know, you feel like you're going to have to work really, really hard to do this. And I don't think you will have to, I mean, you'll obviously have to work hard, but I don't think you're going to have to work as hard as you think you will. Um, I think it's going to come naturally to you, though you're not, sh I think you're not sure of yourself and taking on this new role. But all the energy is here telling you to get in that Emperor Empress energy. Have faith, hope, optimism with the Hierophant. This is the right thing for you, I feel. He has a Princess of Pentacles. It's a Page of Pentacles. So this is your advice now in this situation. So you got the Page of Pentacles, which is the offer coming in or communication that's solid, it's stable. Seven of Wands. So you're feeling, you know, a little defensive or on guard um, kind of energy, but that could be just that willpower with the seven, with the uh, willpower over here and the Seven of Wands is having that willpower and dignity to do this. Yeah, King or Queen of Pentacles here, doesn't matter. You'll be sitting pretty in this throne, making more money, being more abundant, feeling more fulfilled, you know, sitting high, sitting strong. I mean, not that you're going to be cocky or whatever, but. I feel like you're going to feel like you have more purpose in life. You feel like you're going to feel more stable and grounded. So I feel like, I feel like the page of pentacles is the offer that was given to you, either promotion, raise, I'm feeling more like a promotion or even a new job. And, you know, maybe you were a little defensive on about it at first because you're like, Oh, I don't know if I can do that. But then it's telling you to keep fighting and not give up that you can. And you will be this king or queen of pentacles. Somebody who's very grounded, smart, analytical. Again, could be high-ranking boss, a business owner. Star, yeah. And I was just saying to keep, um, to be um, hopeful. Have to keep that faith, that hope, that optimism with the star. Again, wishes and dreams coming true. Sitting right under the Nine of Cups up here. <coughs> so, this is a wish, a dream come true. Just remain um, optimistic. Um, it's also healing energy that makes any sense for you. So it could be something very healing for you where you feel like you're finally having purpose in life. You know, maybe you were just doing your regular day-to-day -day job, you know, like the eight of pentacles there. And now you're like, now I can finally do something where I actually feel like I have purpose. And I feel like it'll be very healing for you. And I think it'll help you to transform more into this king or queen of pentacle um, energy. Be more like a leader. All right, so let's get, um, okay, possible outcome. 
So we have the Hermit. So I think you still got to think about it for a while here and take your time. Um, again, asking for advice, trying to find the path that's right for you. But now you have the Ace of Pentacles here. So this is something built on a firm foundation. This is the beginning of something new, whether it be growth, abundance, prosperity. So I think, and you're looking at it here, like you're looking at that, while you're in hermit mode at that ace of pentacles being offered to you through the page of pentacles here let's see it's, it's being offered right here and you're looking at it like oh i want that pentacle but then you're a little unsure but now we have the empress so you have the emperor and the empress so yeah so doesn't matter male or female so i think you will finally after you think about it for a while accept that pentacle this new offer and you'll be sitting you got the Emperor, the Empress, and the King of Pentacles. Are you kidding me? So, yeah. <laughs> Take this Pentacle and run with it, and you'll be sitting in that Emperor, Empress, King of Pentacles energy. Being a leader, being a guide for other people, shining your light, and you'll also be getting uh, a lot more money and a lot more prosperity in your life, stability. Strength, and I was just talking about strength, having that inner strength and courage to do this. Yes, you can do it. Finding that inner willpower and bravery to tame that fear, that beast of the fear within to do this. Three of Pentacles, again, mastering a craft here, working with other people. So there may be some new things you may need to learn on this journey, on this transformative time. And the Three of Wands, I mean, you could have waited for this for a while and now it's here. Maybe you're a little scared. But now we have the Prince of Cups. So this is the Page of Cups. So I think it's a very sincere offer coming in here, um, coming from a good place. So, yeah, I think that offer is coming from a good place that you could trust. Maybe you waited for it, and now that it's here, you felt a little scared. But now, you know, you'll be working on learning new things with the Three of Pentacles energy and knowing you are strong enough to do this. So let's see, the other signs we have besides Capricorn, I don't know if the signs mean anything to you, but we do have um, Scorpio, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Taurus, uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aquarius, Virgo. The Empress here is Libra, Taurus. We have Leo, um, let me see here, um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. <coughs> so... Those, those could be um, co-workers, friends, family. Maybe you have those signs in your chart in some way. So let's get some advice and guidance for you, Pisces, in this situation. So whatever, I feel like it's a promotion or even a new job or just something new in your life and you're unsure whether or not to go forward in this, and I think you should, but it's totally up to you. Something divinely guided for you here with the stars that will bring you into this Emperor, Empress, King, Queen of Pentacles energy of total wealth and abundance. Let's see what we have here. Receptivity. Allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to others. So yeah, I feel like allow yourself to receive this offer coming into you. And I think you will be giving to others your knowledge, your... your um, light, your expertise, your guidance, um, kind of energy. And we have here blossoming. You are just getting started. So have patience with yourself and the process and do not give up as with the strength energy here and willpower. It's almost like the same energy to me. So let's get a few more here for you Pisces. And we have sorceress. You are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality exactly you can manifest this into reality i feel like it's a new beginning let's get one more don't back down stand up for what you believe is right so yeah you feel like you deserve this you do deep down do feel like you deserve this and it's time to accept it divine passion be honest with yourself what is your heart's true desire exactly and i felt that ace of cups here with that flame and this person embodying that flame and now finally feeling like they're living out 
their divine passion. <coughs> wow, Pisces. Um, and I did forget to say, if you're new, you like my style, how I read, please do like, share, comment, subscribe. I love to read the comments. And if you do, thank you so much. You can check out my channel and like what you see. Again, I, I offer about five readings a month per sign. So if you do, thank you. Okay, best of luck to you, Pisces. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.